Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with the How To Video Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to wire outlets in a daisy chain. So this is something that you would do if you have a bedroom or something where you need like four or five outlets, but you only have power coming in to one area. Or if you wanted to add more outlets in, let's say, your garage or somewhere, maybe an unfinished basement, and you want to tap off an existing line. Now, of course, you need to be careful. If you have multiple in a series, each time you get further down, uh, the power is reduced. Uh, not significantly, not a lot, but you know, it's like a 50-foot extension cord versus a 10-foot. There's more power when you plug something into a 10-foot because it doesn't have all that far to travel. In addition, uh, code could dictate how you do this. Daisy chaining is different than wiring them in a parallel, and so that's something to be concerned with as well. A parallel would be where you wire up all the wire and run the wire through the walls, and then each one is its own uh, separate outlet. This is daisy chaining where the wire is coming to one outlet and then from this outlet to another outlet. And so uh, code typically says daisy chaining is okay, parallel they don't like, but that is, of course, determined based upon where you live and your uh, code, building code, etc. So make sure you know what that is. Here we go, coming in from the breaker. So this is the hot wire right here, hot line in. Uh, you're gonna put the ground, obviously would go on the ground. We can do that. Usually I like to do that last. We'll do the black wire first, that's our hot wire. Uh, neutral first is generally a better practice because then you don't get zapped. Uh, so where do you put it? Top or bottom, uh, black or, or I mean uh, gold or silver. Well, you take the black wire, that's going to go on the gold side. And so we'll wire that up. Now top or bottom, doesn't really matter. I like to put them on the bottom. So we can screw that into the bottom right here. Now whatever you do, uh, again, it, it's really not that important when it's an outlet uh, because they're all connected. But if you're putting it on the bottom on one side, I really like to match it on the bottom on the other side. You could put it on the top and have them diagonal and it would work. But then if you ever broke this tab, it wouldn't work anymore. So keep it, keep it simple here. Run this one right here on the bottom. And of course, I like to wrap the screw. This, the screw turns. So for example, you're going to turn the screws clockwise, so you want your wire to be wrapped accordingly so that as you turn the screw, the uh, screw will help pull the wire around it so it's a tighter bond. Uh, of course, you could use the quick connects in the back here, stick it in there, but I mean, it's never going to pull off of a tightened screw. So I always use the screws. Plus, if you ever need to take it apart, it's a lot easier than the quick connect. All right, then the ground. Get this wired up real quick and then show you on the daisy chaining process. Okay. So let's say you already have an outlet and this is how it's wired. So there's a little tip how to wire an outlet if you didn't know how. Uh, this is wired up now. Now you have another outlet. Obviously it's not going to be this close. This one was probably going to be six feet away and you have your wire. And obviously it's going to be a lot longer, but hypothetically and in theory, in practice, this is the same. So what you're going to do is take the black wire and the white wire and they're going to go on the corresponding terminals here. So the black one is going to go right here on the top. Wire that up, screw it in. Okay, and then the white is, is going to go on to the silver on the top. So we'll put that on there real quick. As quick as we can, I guess. Okay. And then this ground, you will want on the ground here. Now, in daisy chaining, a very, very common practice that you'll see all the time 
is someone simply hooks this ground right like that and that's it. I personally don't like that. What I would do is, I'm not gonna do it here because for time constraints, but what I would do is I'd wire all three of these together with a, a wire nut and then I would pigtail off. So I'd go like this. I'll do it right now. Might as well show you the right way to do something. So I would unhook my existing ground. Yikes. There we go. And then I would pigtail the grounds together like so. Get alignments pliers and really crank those together. You don't need to wire nut these because they're ground, but some electricians will put a wire nut over them just to make it have a more finished and consistent look. Some people make fun of that, but it's, uh, it's really a personal preference when it comes to the ground. I guess we're not putting one on because that's not working. So then we'd wrap this around here, like so. Now the whole thing is grounded. The whole chain is grounded. All right, so that would be your first outlet. Then this is going to go to the second outlet in the series, and it's just like wiring up any other outlet at this point. So obviously you'll have the black one. I like to, again, put, put them on the bottom. The black one would go on the brass terminal here. So put that up. And then the white on the silver. And then the ground, obviously, on the ground terminal to finish the job. So there. So now what's happening is you have wire coming, hot wire coming in here. It's running to the bottom of this outlet. Hot wire, neutral wire. Okay. Then the power is going from those two bottom terminals up to these terminals and over to this outlet. Then it's coming in to the bottom here. Now, you could continue this on from the top over on, and this would be a daisy-chained outlet series that is powering one supply line powering multiple outlets. And so that is how you would run a daisy chain or series of outlet receptacles. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, uh, hit that subscribe button and the like button on the video. I hope you like this video. In addition, click that bell icon to be notified of future videos. Thank you.